How is it going? Databytes is no data here, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Roblox Assassin. We are here once again on the season four update of Assassin, and today we are actually here in a VIP server because there's actually something really cool that I wanted to show you guys with this lobby, and it's actually about this fountain right here. Now, we've talked about this fountain before. Uh, typically, by default, you will see a nebula knight on top of the fountain, but there is a slash view command, so you can do slash view and put in any knife that you want i could put in slash view proton and then there you go protons right there i could do slash view holiday saber and then you can take a nice look at holiday saber so you can literally use this command to see every single available knife in the game and that's just super cool to be honest with you but guys there is something very interesting about this command this command works for every single knife in the game even ones that technically aren't obtainable by anyone now if you've ever met prisman in a server and if you take a look in his inventory, you might see some knives that aren't in anybody else's inventory. Prisman has a very special inventory where he actually has some exclusive knives. And technically, those knives are in the game, and they actually work with these commands. I don't know if that's ever going to be patched or anything like that, but I can literally use slash view on a bunch of secret knives that aren't even in the game. So I decided, you know what, why not sit down in a VIP server and show you guys all of the secret knives that you can see using this fountain. Because there's a bunch of them, we have some legendary, some exotics, it's going to be pretty interesting. So stay tuned to see all the new knives. It's mostly just unreleased stuff that we'll probably never see but you know it's pretty interesting to take a look at it especially now that we have this command and i'm also going to use the slash request command to show pictures of those knives as well not all the knives have pictures some of them are just completely blank but i'm going to do slash request on the knives here because that also works as well obviously slash offer command isn't going to work because well you need the knife in your inventory in order to offer it and obviously we don't have these knives so yeah if you guys are excited for this episode of assassin then be sure to drop a like like on this video helps out a whole lot and if you're a new be sure to subscribe for more assassin videos in the future no data merch link in the description and don't forget to use star code purple when buying robux and robux premium it really helps me out to continue making these videos so don't forget to use star code purple all right and without further ado let's go ahead and start with these knives all right so we're going to start off really simple i'm going to do slash view ban hammer and yeah you can actually see the ban hammer in the lobby right here which is really cool this is a pretty well-known knife to be honest it's not as mysterious as all the other knives i mean a lot of devs have this so you can definitely look up gameplay of the ban hammer if you want and there are also some assassin copies where you can use the ban hammer so yeah not too much to say about the ban hammer it's right here a lot of you guys have probably seen this knife already and for this knife in particular the ban hammer is not tradable so unfortunately if i use the slash request command uh it's not gonna work it says that the knife cannot be traded so can't really put a picture of the ban hammer on here unfortunately but that is totally fine but let's move on to some of the more hidden knives every single knife from here on out is only in prisman's inventory so we're going to start off with some legendaries i'm going to do slash view rainbow marble slash view rainbow marble boom there you go as you can see this is the rainbow marble legendary you can see it right here it is just a nice rainbow knife it kind of just looks like a random legendary but believe it or not this knife is nowhere to be found in the game you cannot get this legendary so there it is right there looks like a pretty cool knife kind of looks like an updated version of the rainbow knife i like the texture of it it's a pretty cool knife no one really knows why this knife Knife just wasn't added into the game i mean personally i feel like this would be a really cool knife just to add to a case or something but it's it's just not in the game only prisman has it and i can go ahead and slash requested and there is the picture of the rainbow marble legendary on the screen so yeah you can see that it is definitely a legendary because of the text so yeah that is the rainbow marble legendary we're gonna move on to exotics in a little bit but there is one more legendary i want to show so if we put in slash view obsidian this is is another legendary right here we have the obsidian and yeah this knife is literally nowhere in the game except prisman's inventory it looks pretty cool i guess i feel like from a distance it kind of looks like midnight 
Th that just looks like Midnight, the common, to be honest with you. But if you take a closer look, you can see that there are some blackish, purplish rocks in there, so it looks pretty cool. The handle is also a bluish, purplish as well, so, you know, it looks pretty cool. I'd say the Rainbow Marble is definitely a cooler legendary, but, you know, this is a pretty nice knife right here. And unfortunately, the Obsidian does not have a picture. As you can see, it's just completely blank, and then it says Obsidian, so, yeah, it is a legendary. Now, there is also one secret rare and two secret common kind of sort of so i'm going to start with the rare if we do slash view lava boom you can actually see the lava knife this is a knife that is not in the game you can see that it's a brownish orange knife with some that, that looks like lightning to me but i guess it's supposed to look like lava kind of reminds me of the earth exotic but with a bit more detail and yeah if we do slash request lava you can see that the lava is a rare knife so there's the picture of it there is the lava so yeah that's a pretty interesting rare knife not too much to say about it otherwise and for these secret comments, I'm actually going to start with the slash request and you'll see why. So I'm going to do slash request Doritos and boom, you can see that we have the Doritos common and you can actually see that there's no picture for the Doritos. And I'm also going to do slash request Mountain Dew and you'll see it the same general thing. Boom, there is the Mountain Dew common, but you can actually see that there is no picture for it. So let's do the slash view command and let's see what these commons look like. So if we do slash view Doritos, you can actually see that this knife might look pretty similar. And this is because this knife is actually still in the game, but with a different name. You can see right here, boom, the deep orange common and if we do slash view mountain dew you can actually see that the mountain dew is actually the green rush common now some of you guys actually might already know what's going on but in case you don't know the deep orange and the green rush actually used to have different names called doritos and mountain dew if you guys played assassin in 2016 2017 you'll probably remember these knives being named Doritos and Mountain Dew. But obviously those names are brand names. So unfortunately because of copyright, Prisman had to change the names of these knives to Deep Orange and Green Rush. But the original names are kind of still in the game. So, you know, you can put them in the trade wall and it actually works. So yeah, technically Doritos and Mountain Dew are still in the game, but they're just called Deep Orange and Green Rush instead. All right, so that's all the legendaries and stuff out of the way. Let's move on to the good stuff. Let's move on to the exotics. All right, so we're gonna start off with the big one. We are going to do Slash View Elegant Blue Steel. So here is the elegant blue steel. Now, this is actually a really old knife that Prisman added in during the 2018 summer update. And I'm pretty sure this was originally going to be a leaderboard prize. I think probably top 100. I think this was going to be the top 100 prize before the competitor blade came along. And honestly, this is a really cool knife. I really like how it looks. I do think competitor blade is better, but that's really just because that was the first mythic in the game with an effect of its own so you know i really think it deserves the credit for that and competitor blade honestly looks pretty cool but elegant blue steel looks really cool as well i really like the design of it it's just a nice blue sword we got a golden handle here it looks really cool honestly this would have been a pretty good top 100 knife to be honest with you i mean some people are probably going to prefer this over competitor blade which is definitely fair just think of how valuable this thing would be by now like everyone would want this dude but then what would competitor blade 2 be whether it be an elegant blue steel too maybe i don't know and yeah i can request elegant blue steel and there it is unfortunately it's a little bit glitched it just says elegant <laughs> I, I don't know some of these names are kind of glitched but you can see it just says elegant and there is the picture of the knife again this knife looks really really cool i think it'd be really cool for prisman to add this into the game to some degree i honestly wouldn't mind this becoming like the eighth generation of leaderboard prizes maybe some people will be upset just because of the lack of effects I, I feel like a lot of the prizes need effects nowadays it's been that way since competitor blade all right so here is a pretty interesting one i'm gonna put in slash view frozen Frozen Crescendo. There we go. Slash view Frozen Crescendo and boom. And as you can see, we have a knife right here. Now you're probably wondering, no data. That, that's just Freezendo. That, that's a mythic. That's already in the game. Well, no, actually, I put in slash view Frozen Crescendo, not Freezendo. And actually, I think if I put in Freezendo, you will actually see that Freezendo is actually a little bit darker than the Frozen Crescendo. So there's the Frozen Crescendo right now. If I press enter, 
yeah, you can see that the freeze endo is a little bit darker, a little bit more detailed. I'm going to switch back to the frozen crescendo and then boom, as you can see, it's a little bit brighter. So believe it or not, guys, the frozen crescendo is actually a completely different knife. And well, it pretty much just looks just like freeze endo. And if I put in slash request frozen crescendo, you can literally see that it says frozen and you can actually see that this knife is an exotic whereas the frizendo is actually a mythic so frizendo is a mythic but frozen crescendo is an exotic so that's pretty interesting i think this is basically just an early version of the frizendo and i guess prisman intended it to be an exotic instead of a mythic which i think is really interesting so technically the frozen crescendo is separate from the frizendo so that does make it a separate exotic so next I'm gonna do slash view Neptune. Don't ask why, I'll get into it in a little bit. I'm gonna do slash view Neptune right here. Uh, so there's Neptune. Obviously, that's a 1000 competitive point prize. We've known about it. I just wanna give you guys a good look at this Neptune. Uh, I'll get into why. All right, so have you taken a good look at this Neptune? Good. Now I'm going to do slash view 8 bit, and we get big Neptune. <laughs> It's big Neptune. It's a bigger version of Neptune. So the 8-bit was actually a pixelated sword. If you played Murder Mystery 2, you probably know about the godly known as Pixel. And well, that was originally going to be added into Assassin as well. There was going to be an entire bundle of it. There was going to be like an 8-bit Phoenix and a Pixel effect. This was back in like summer 2017. We were super hyped for this bundle. And well, that bundle just never came to be. We're pretty sure this is because of copyright purposes because the 8-bit in its original form actually looks a lot like the Minecraft Iron Sword. So maybe it just looks like a stolen asset from Minecraft. So, you know, th that knife just never made it into the game. Prisman completely deleted the 8-bit to an extent. It's still kind of in his inventory. But if he were to equip the 8-bit, it would just be a bigger version of Neptune, which is pretty interesting. I wonder why Prisman chose Neptune as a placeholder for 8-bit because technically, this knife is still in his inventory for some reason and if we do slash request 8-bit there you go you can see it once again you know what's really interesting about all these exotics I can put them in the trade wall so technically all of these exotics are tradable so hypothetically if Prisman wanted to he could trade these knives to other people he could give the knives to someone I don't I don't think he ever will but I mean it is interesting to think that technically these are tradable but anyway let's go ahead and move on to the next exotic all right, so next I'm going to show you guys some unreleased Christmas knives. So I'm going to do slash view winter prints. Boom. And then there we go. There is the winter prints exotic knife. This was actually a unreleased knife for the Christmas 2019 event. That's right. The 2019 event. So this knife is well over a year old. This was back in the day when I don't have a use was a developer. I'm pretty sure he made this knife, but I'm not certain. So yeah, this is the unreleased Christmas 2019 winter winter prince exotic this knife just didn't make the cut for some reason let me know what you guys think about this knife i think it would have been really cool to see this knife in the christmas event but we got a bunch of knives in that event so you know can't be too picky but it still would have been cool to see this exotic in the event and then i could do slash request winter prince and there is the picture of the winter prince exotic looks pretty cool to be honest and now we're going to move on to the christmas 2020 event this happened just a couple months ago and there's actually two unreleased exotics for the 2020 Christmas event. Firstly, we have the sugar cookie. So here is the sugar cookie right here. It looks pretty similar to the butcher cookie, to be honest. If I had to guess, I feel like Prisman was probably deciding between certain cookie knives, and I guess he just decided that the butcher cookie was the best one. You can see that they are pretty similar in the handle, and the sprinkles on it are pretty similar. There's only a few differences. Firstly, the shape of the knife. You know, this is basically a fatter knife it's more of a butcher knife whereas the sugar cookie looks like more of a simplistic knife and what's really interesting about the sugar cookie is it has a never before seen effect of its own you can actually see that there are sprinkles falling off of the knife which is really interesting you can see that there are some red sprinkles on the knife and then you have some red sprinkles falling off just sprinkling off the knife which i think is really really cool so this is honestly a really cool knife let me know what you guys think which knife do you guys like better do you like the sugar cookie or the butcher cookie i think both of them are pretty good but to be honest i gotta go with the sugar cookie i think this looks a lot better mainly
only because of the effect. Again, this knife has an effect of its own. The butcher cookie doesn't. So honestly, I would have to say that I like this knife better. I think it would have been really cool if the butcher cookie at least got the sugar cookies effect. I don't know. I feel like you could put the effect on the knife and it would work relatively fine. And here is the picture of the sugar cookie exotic. Again, it looks pretty cool. I like it a lot better than the butcher cookie, to be honest. Don't get me wrong. The butcher cookie is really cool, but it, it kind of just looks like a pop tart. And this is just a delicious cookie knife with an effect of its own. So yeah, there is the sugar cookie, but there's actually another one that looks very, very similar. This time we're going to do slash view gingerbread cookie. And then there we go. There is the gingerbread cookie exotic. Now, as you can see, it is actually a reskin of the sugar cookie. You can see that it has a nice gingerbread face on it. This knife looks really happy, to be honest. We got some gumdrops on it. Got some vanilla and some chocolate. It's got a little bow tie that's so adorable. And then the handle kind of has a candy cane pattern, which is really cool. And then once again, as you can see, this knife actually has a never before seen effect. You can see that there are some gingerbread men falling off of the knife appearing and disappearing around the knife uh growing and shrinking you can see that there are just a bunch of gingerbread men around the knife so it looks really really cool in that regard i'd say that this is probably my favorite cookie exotic i really wish this was added into the game because it just looks so cool. I love all the details. I really like the effect. We've never seen this effect before. I don't know. It's a shame that those two exotics just didn't make the cut. And here's the picture of the gingerbread cookie. Again, it's kind of glitch. It just says gingerbread and it doesn't finish the name. But yeah, there is the picture of the knife right there. All right. So here is another knife, Gamma Blue. This is a pretty interesting knife. Gotta go on top a little bit to see it. Yeah, here is the Gamma Blue exotic there's really not much to this knife to be honest all i can really say about this knife is it looks like it came straight out of an assassin copy i feel like assassin copies use this knife a lot i mean i haven't really played any assassin copies recently but i'm pretty sure we've probably made some episodes of assassin copies where we use this type of knife i think it's pretty common in assassin copies and yeah it seems like prisman was thinking about adding it to the game as well so yeah it's a dark blue knife it has a v on it it looks kind of cool it's a pretty cool knife that you could probably kill people with but i don't know th this looks kind of bland in my opinion i feel like i'd be down for this to be into the game but you'd have to add a little bit more details to it because th this just looks kind of bland as it is like it's so flat and stuff and like when you do the command you can almost barely see it at first you're just like is there a knife there oh yeah there, there is a knife there and unfortunately no picture for the gamma blue it just says gamma blue at the bottom so yeah again this is an exotic pretty much everything here is an exotic and to my knowledge i believe that is everything except for one more i'm gonna go ahead and do slash view mega mallet and boom there is the mega mallet exotic right there as you can see it is yet another hammer that almost got into assassin but didn't quite make the cut it seems so yeah you can see that it is just a nice blue and gold hammer we have some spikes on the side which i think is pretty cool definitely looks like a pretty deadly knife and then the handle is kind of white and then blue at the very bottom so yeah that's the mega mallet it looks kind of cool but just from the size and the textures and stuff I mean the spikes make it look kind of deadly but to be honest it, this kind of just looks like a toy hammer <laughs> honestly just from the textures and the overall size of it it just it looks like a toy hammer to me you know what I mean which wouldn't be completely out of place I mean we do have five rubber chickens in the game but yeah that is the mega mallet exotic not entirely sure what this was supposed to be used for but it didn't quite make the cut and yeah once I do slash request mega mallet boom there is the exotic knife right there so yeah guys to my knowledge that is everything hidden in prisman's assassin inventory there obviously are some more stuff in prisman's roblox inventory but i obviously don't want to show any of those because you know prisman has those hidden for a reason but technically these are in prisman's assassin inventory so you know when you're in a server with prisman you can go ahead and see these knives all you want so i think it's pretty reasonable to you know kind of show them off a bit so yeah that is all the secret exotics that i could find i don't really think these are any big leaks or anything these have been in prisman's inventory for quite a while now i don't really think they're going to be added into the game anytime soon i think these are just some unreleased knives that almost made it into the game but not 
quite. I'm not really leaking anything huge. I don't really think this is like a major spoiler for an upcoming update. Again, these have been in Prisman's inventory for a while, and I don't think they're coming to Assassin anytime soon. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about these knives. Do you actually want to see any of these knives in the game? Personally, I really want to see the sugar cookie and the gingerbread cookie making it into the game. Those are my personal favorite exotics from this. They look really, really cool. I love the effects on them. I don't really think they'll be going into the game anytime soon, but you never know. Prisman could change his mind and add them into the game at some point. But yeah, guys. That is going to be it for this video. I just wanted to spend a video showing you guys these brand new knives because I thought it was really interesting when this lobby came out and we were able to show all of these knives, including ones that we can't even get. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Roblox Assassin. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We know there's other things that YouTube people do. And now we'll see you guys in the next video. Stay purple.